This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution of a problem, dealing with the determination of gears teeth numbers in a reverted compound gear train. In this problem, we are asked to determine the numbers of teeth of the gears. In order to obtain a speed ratio of 1 over 17. For the reverted compound gear train shown here. First, the speed ratio of this reverted compound gear train writes, N2 N4, divided by, N3 N5. Here, gears 2 and 4, are the driver gears. And, gears 3 and 5, are the driven gears. To ensure that the axis of rotation of the input gear is in the same direction as the axis of the output gear, we need to have N2 plus N3, equal to, N4 plus N5. The sum of the number of teeth in the first stage is equal to the sum of the number of teeth in the second stage. Thus, the numbers of teeth of the gears should satisfy N2 N4 over N3 N5 is equal to 1 over 17. And N2 plus N3 is equal to N4 plus N5. In this problem, we aim at finding the number of teeth of the four gears, thus we have here four unknowns. There are two conditions that we need to satisfy while determining the gears teeth numbers, thus, we have two equations. Hence, for this problem, there might be infinite number of solutions. Here, we aim at finding only one possible solution to this problem. We aim at finding a set of numbers of teeth that satisfy the two conditions. To this purpose, we need to add two supplementary equations. These equations correspond to two choices that can be different from one person to another. Our first choice will deal with the way to satisfy the speed ratio which is equal to 1 over 17. This compound gear train is made of two stages. So we are going to choose the speed ratio of each stage so to satisfy the final speed ratio. We would like to have that the speed ratio of the two stages are close to each other. We don't want to have a low speed ratio than in a stage, and a much higher speed ratio in the second stage. Here square root of 17, is approximately equal to 4.12. Thus we choose to have, 1 over 4, as speed ratio of the first stage. This will be our first choice. And thus, the speed ratio of the second stage should be 4 over 17. Please be advised that this just one way to satisfy the final speed ratio. There are multiple other ways to achieve it. After having made our first choice, the first equation is substituted by the following two equations. Now we have three equations. Let's work these equations, then, we can make our second choice. From the first equation, we have N2 over N3 is equal to 1 over 4, thus, N3 is equal to 4 N2. The second equation writes, N4 over N5 is equal to, 4 over 17, hence, 17 N4 is equal to, 4 N5. The third equation reads, N2 plus N3, is equal to, N4 plus N5. We can then, multiply all terms by 4. The term 4 N2, can be substituted by N3. And, the term 4 N5, can be substituted by 17 N4. Consequently, we have 5 N3, is equal to 21 N4. We have established now the following three equations. To be able to solve, we need to add our second choice. We need to fix the number of teeth for one gear and then we can use the three equations to find the three others. We should keep in mind that all numbers of teeth should be integer numbers. Let's for example focus on N4. From the third equation, we need to choose N4 multiple of 5 so N3 will be integer. And from the second equation, we should choose N4 multiple of 4, so N5 will be integer. Now if we choose N4 multiple of 4, N3 will be also multiple of 4, hence, 
we can ensure that n2 is integer. Now we are ready to make our second choice, we consider that n4 is equal to 20 teeth. Using the second equation we have n5 is equal to, 17 times 20, over 4, thus n5 is equal to 85 teeth. Using the third equation we have n3 is equal to, 21 times 20, over 5, thus n3 is equal to 84 teeth. Finally, using the first equation, we have n2 is equal to 84 divided by 4, thus, n2 is equal to 21 teeth. With this we have completed the solution of the problem, thanks for watching.